Hey guys, good morning. It's Liliana from Vanilla and Canela here. Welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I am doing a tag. I was tagged by um, Erin from Gentle Thrifty Mama. If you don't know who she is, I will leave a link to her channel below. She is awesome. I love her channel. Um, so the idea is that you show a room in your house where you show how much you spent on decorating and how thrifty you were. Now, if you want to see really, really thrifty ideas for rooms, I will link below a tour of my son's bedroom, which cost £50 for the makeover, as well as my office, which was like another £50. Now, that's thrifty. In what I'm going to show you today, it's actually my living room. And most of the stuff that's in here we bought when we were a two income family. We had no children, loads of spare cash. So a lot of the stuff was expensive, but you will see that little things that I've updated are really cheap and I've bought recently. So anyway, I'm gonna stop talking because this is gonna be quite a long video. So I'll see you guys at the end. So this is what you see once you come in. Here's the front door. And then you see that, and I'm gonna show you everything from there, okay? So I'm sorry, the lighting's not great. It's a bit of a gray day, so bear with me. So straight ahead, this is the first thing you see when you come through the door. I have this drawer. This is a printer's drawer, and I just hang it, and I have loads of different things that mean something to us, you know, like, those little houses there we got when we were living in Northern Ireland. I mean, I don't want to go through it all because I'll be here all day, but that's a Portuguese scene. Okay. So, and I've just bought this. You guys might have seen my previous haul. I'll link it for you. Um, that little man there, <laughs> little snail. So I've just got loads of different stuff and when we first got this, we had like two little bits to put in, but over time, it's got more and more. So that I got from eBay. I think it was about £40, which is not bad. Uh, and then straight underneath it, I have this bureau. And this used to be kind of a red, dark colour. And we just painted it with Annie Sloan paint. It does need some serious redoing because you can see fingerprints and all sorts, but I, I do love it. Um, and it cost us 20 pounds, so boom. Um, I've got a Scentsy Warmer, Ola Kylie Pot Plant, and Ola Kylie is probably a name you're gonna hear a lot because she's my favorite mid-century designer and I love mid-century style, so that's a pot plant. I think they cost about 20 pounds now it's not the cheapest but i love her stuff um, the frame here is from poundland and just behind it we have a bp Enegal motor oil it's a vintage bottle paul's had this for like 20 years and i quite like it i love the green on it so yes that's this bit and then behind the sofas we have this unit, unit, this is an Ikea Kallax unit, and you guys, if you follow me for a little bit, you might have seen when I got it. I paid £12 for it because I bought it second hand, and it stores all, some of Alex's toys down here. Uh, we used to previously have a white one, the same one, which is now in Alex's room, um, but we replaced it with this, and I just have some of Paul's books. Paul has tons and tons of books. While I'm more of a Kindle kind of girl, so I don't have a lot. And I just went upstairs into our bookshelves and picked the look, some that I like the look of. So you guys might recognize those two things. They're from different $5 Goodwill challenges. That red thing, I'm kind of on the fence. I don't really like it, but I'm going to keep it and use it to store Christmas, my precious Christmas decorations. This little thing here, I love. It was given to me by um, my 
friend who's from Japan and she brought that over for me. I bought that Buddha in a, um, what do you call it, a vintage fair. I love it. I think it's so ugly um, that it's kind of cute. And then I've just got a jar with some shells that belong to Alex. I can't remember where I bought that little vase there but it's got like a really nice texture and I've had that candle which is made of wax as well and I bought from TK Maxx years and years ago and then I just have frames family frames and I've bought the frames from all over the place if there is what a particular one that you like let me know and I'll try and remember where I got it from but I've had them for quite a while um, and a globe this globe at a pole bought many years ago from Lidl and it lights up so it's got like a, a little light in and then our sofas are all from DFS but they were bought at different stages so the leather sofas we bought in Northern Ireland so they're about five years old and I will never buy leather sofas again I hate them they're hot they're sticky I mean this chair has done all right but this one don't know if you guys can tell there's a, a little subsidence in the middle um yeah and then the cat scratched them within like a week of us having them i will never buy sofas like this again and they cost us a fortune they were like three grand and um three grand for this two-seater that that has storage inside we keep all our dvds and that one okay so on that sofa I just got an Orla Kylie cushion I love that that cost about 40 pounds I think they're slightly cheaper now um yes and on this sofa I just have those two cushions and I bought those from Wish the app so they were very cheap maybe two pounds each and this little one I have two of them one here and one there they're actually made with Kathy Kidston fabric, which means that when I bought them about 10 years ago, Kathy Kidston was very, very hip. Now she, I see her everywhere. I'm, I'm not really a fan anymore. I used to be quite into shabby chic stuff. But anyway, so they cost me about £30, which is not cheap for the two. Um, the little blanket throw um, is from Argos and it was 8 99 so I'm going to show you this sofa because this sofa was the best thing we ever bought. Now you can see that there's some discoloration, but we have had this sofa for 12 years and it's still in fairly good shape. Bearing in mind, there's Stan, that Alex has been sick on it like a million times and I've washed the cushions even though you're not supposed to wash them. and They still come up really well. What I do have to do now and again is replace the inserts on those cushions there, um, which is fine. My cushions on the sofa, you would have seen that in a haul, that, that's from Wish, the black and cream ones. So they cost me a pound each. And then those two cushions, the fox and the owl, I got a couple of years ago from a garden centre. Now in between the sofas here, I have these two little tables, which I got from I want to say it was made.com and they cost me something like 50 quid and um, I wanted when we moved here I wanted to mix in the oak sort of the wood with white so it wasn't so woody if that makes sense and that was a great way to do it and I love those little tables behind it is a bit of a mess but I just have a um Magazine rack, sorry. I have had that for years and I think it was from Matalan. The phone, I get asked about that a lot. It does work. It's our house phone. Um, and I bought it from an independent shop uh, in, a, in a town, sorry, nearby. And it cost us £50. And um, I'll, but you can find them on Amazon as well, you know. The lamp, I also get asked about that. I've got two of those and they're from Next. They're actually like bedside table lamps, but I just like them here. And <coughs> the, uh, excuse me, the coasters I've had for years and I bought them in an independent shop as well. 
So just over there, I've just got an Ikea Kallax unit, but just with the four halls. It's not perfect for there, but it works. It gives us loads of storage. On top, I have a lamp. Now the base of the lamp used to be red and it had a white lampshade. And I got that from Danelm again, five, six years ago. I painted with the same paint that I used on that unit there. So Annie Sloan. And then I looked and found someone made that shade for me bespoke. So I found the fabric and they made it for me. And I absolutely love the fabric. It's one of my favorite pieces in the whole house. Um, I got that from Paul for Mother's Day. You guys saw me thrift that. Some of Paul's books. And that again was um, the little snail. Alex made that in school. I love this little mouse. I cannot remember where I got that, but that usually lives on there, but I just thought I'll bring it out. Okay, so that's that. Oh, this picture, and I get asked a lot about this picture, is quite big and it's actually from John Lewis. I bought it, so I was in Norfolk, so seven years ago. Um, I think the art artist still sells her stuff there, but you, I don't think you can get the same one anymore. And that was about £150. And then on the fireplace comes came with a house, so there's nothing I can do about that. The big basket underneath came from Ikea. I bought it before Alex was born to use as storage for his toys. And that's what's inside, toys. Uh, and it cost, I think, about £60. The blanket is from TK Maxx and it was something like £12.99 or maybe £19.99. Sorry, I forgot to show you. There's another throw there, also from TK Maxx, but that was £9.99. Um, the stuff, so those holders there, they came from B&M Bargains and they were 45p. I don't love them. I would love to find some vintage ones with the old fashioned clip. So I'm on the lookout for that. That is a RAF belt vintage one. And that is a square, square set, I think. And that was given to Paul by one of the guys who designed a Spitfire. So it's very valuable in our eyes. Um, the lantern thing is from Habitat. The Penguin books we bought at a fair years ago, um, so I can't remember the price, but they were something like 99p each. You guys saw me thrift that for the $5 Goodwill challenge, that was one ninety nine, and that little bird we bought at a Christmas market in Belfast. And then on this side, I hate that. I dislike it so, so much. We have been looking for something to replace that. And have not found it. It used to be completely wood and we painted it. I did a video on that. I'll try and link it for you. I would love to replace it. I do not want the telly on the wall. I want a unit. It, but what I'm what I can't find is the height. I like it that that one's quite high. So we're looking to replace that, of course. I have had that for years and years. I think that was from TK Maxx, that little jug, enamel jug. I've just thrifted that. It's my favourite little thing at the moment. I made those pumpkins. That lantern there, not lantern, tea light holder, is from Aldi. And it was something like $1.99. My curtains are from Dunelm. Let me just close them so you can see the pattern. We bought them when we got in here. We uh, moved into this house. I bought this set, which is to the floor. And that set in the dining room. And for both of them, it was about £100. So not particularly cheap. And then I have another little table there. I think I got that on Amazon. And again, it was something like £20, £30. So I really like that. The tin is on a Kylie and it was a present present last Christmas. The candle is also on a Kylie and it was a present a couple of Christmas ago. I only burned them in very special occasions. The little boxes there are Ola Kylie and they actually came with pillowcases. So, but I use them as storage. 
I've shown you the sofa as well. And finally, our coffee table. We bought at DFS at the same time as we bought the leather sofas. And it was, I think, about £350, which is quite expensive. It is solid oak. And we were at the time just thinking of buying pieces that we wanted to keep forever. If it was now, I wouldn't buy it again. Just because since then I really got into mid-century style and... But it's not offensive, right? It's not offensive. It's solid oak. It has loads of storage. I'm going to open and show you the inside. So it opens up and as you can see, we've got loads of books for Alex in there. It is awesome for storage. The candle is from Sainsbury's. You might have seen that in a recent haul. And then the tray I've had, again, for donkey's years and I've just painted it white. The books are children's books by Orla Kylie. The Little Fox, I get asked about that a lot, I bought when I was living in Northern Ireland. I actually bought it in New Look. If you don't know what New Look is, it's a clothes store and I bought it around Christmas time. And I love it. The pot plant is Orla Kylie and I love put, putting cute things in my pot plants. And as you can see, there's a goldfinch there. That's actually a pencil and I just stuck it in there. And this is my favourite plant, my money plant. And then we have some conkers and pine cones that Alex and Paul collected. That's it, you guys. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you've seen something that I forgot to tell you where I got it, let me leave me a comment below and I will answer you if I know where I got it. I hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you so much to Erin for tagging me in this challenge. And I will tag some ladies underneath so go and check them out thank you so much for watching and i'll see you tomorrow for more vlogtober bye